probably wondering what I've been up to for the past weeks. Well, I've been at BronyCon 2017! And because I'm bad at taking video, and because I'm not really good at the vlogging thing, I decided I'll just show you still image pictures and narrate over them. Now, here is my Brony 2017 recap. I arrived in Baltimore late at night on the 8th of August, where I went to get baggage claim. It took a really long time. On top of that, the station for the baggage claim was moved. So, that wasn't much of a help. Ah, oh, finally. Took them long enough. Now I'm just waiting for my bags. And my ride. I'm in Baltimore. Good. No, I'm not singing. I have a Chipotle now. No. Now we wait. And wait. And wait. It's gonna take a while. After that, I got picked up by my dearest sister, Soundtrack, and uh, we just wasted our time until the weekend, because we all know what happened on the weekend. On Thursday night, I arrived at the Baltimore Convention Center, where I got my badge. I love it already. And I was prepped for the weekend to come. And just on that exact same day where I got my badge, I met one of my fans. He just showed up out of nowhere, and uh, we chatted for a little bit. Bronygon hadn't even officially started, and I'm already excited. I also got to meet in person Mr. Left Turn, who is one of the spokespeople on The Void and The Rift City. So yeah, that's a win. We met up, we talked, and he even let me bunk with him for, for the entire weekend. Thank you, Lefty! The day after that, I went to the opening ceremonies on Friday where I just chilled out with my homies in line. It was a really long line. While in line, I got to meet ANOTHER one of my fans. I I honestly did not expect to meet people who knew me, because I just, I'm, I like, I have 2,000 subscribers at least. But this was, this was just awesome. At the con, I got to meet some of my other fellow YouTubers. I got to meet Looney Turtle. I got to meet ANY. I got to meet Skypaw. I got to meet Speedy Tempo. He's really good. I got to meet True Sailor Comet. I got to meet Disney Frickin' Fanatic. And I got to see Torterra. Wait, didn't I kill him? And didn't Disney Fanatic inspire me to kill him? Uh, then don't, don't, don't think about it too much. After meeting up with those weirdos, we all got grouped together and went out for dinner. The restaurant was called... Oh, oh, oh Jesus, how, how do you, how do you pronounce that? Ori... Uh, Orioles? Ariels? Orioles? Or la la la... Orca whales? Orals? Oreos, uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts? <laughs> I kill myself. I got to meet with another one of my fans who we had a dance off with. I even made friends with some random people who were in the hallway. Like these two random guys who were just playing music through the hallway, and of course, I just can't help but dance to them. They like good music, I like good music and dancing. Of course, we became friends. And one of the songs that played from their speaker was this. Now this is a story, and it's not even tragic, where we all learn that friendship is magic. And I want to make sure there's nothing I skip. I'll tell you how I came to know the princess of friendship. Granted, I'm the one who asked to play it, but they instantly fell in love with it, and they instantly subscribed to me. That is... That is awesome. After some more shenanigans, on the next day, I got to meet Ashley H. I got to meet Disney Fanatic. 
again. And during Disney Fanatic's panel, I got to see Fespio and Midnight Sonata. Oh, wait, <laughs> I meant Mrs. Midnight Sonata. Honestly, I can't think of a better gift than knowing the answer to one very simple question. <laughs> Does this happen every year? Does it? Then Saturday night, I attended the Grand Galloping Gala, where I got spiffied up, and guess who was my dance partner? No, seriously, guess. Can't think of it? Okay, here's the answer. Princess Deadpool! Yeah, this guy! to dance with the princess version of the man whose movie is the highest grossing R-rated film of all time. It was magical. But besides from Princess Deadpool, I also got to dance with literally another one of my fans. Her name is Moonshadow Luna, and she is probably the greatest part of BronyCon 2017. I am not lying. Not only did we share a dance together, had a little chat, but she did the thing that just... I just need to show you guys. During the gala, she came up to me and she gave me this. Look at that! Look at that! She drew that! And not only did she draw this, she traveled who knows how many miles to Baltimore just to see me, just to give this to me, just to tell me that she's a fan of mine. How can I not love this? Yeah. Moonshadow, if you're watching this, thank you ever so much. You are, you are undoubtedly one of the best people I have met at the con. No offense, A&Y. After that, I took some pictures with some cosplayers at the gala, who were dressed up as Main Six, Filthy Rich, Vinyl Scratch, and the Dazzlings. Oh, and, uh, Snips and Snails, too. Then on that Saturday night, as I was leaving back to the hotel, I met up with Paleo, AC Race Best, and some guy. I don't know. And we took a, a selfie together. And when AC Race Best uh, turned back to walk, and I was walking the opposite direction, I literally squeaked. Then Sunday morning, just before breakfast, in the elevator, I met up with Viva I'm a Toon Link, who was holding a plushie of himself, and, I'm not joking, a five foot tall body pillow of his character. Made by one of his fans. All throughout Sunday, I met up with more people who are fans of me, more people who I'm a fan of them, people who are mutual fans of each other. Again, I got to meet Moonshadow Luna and thanked her probably a hundred times for that picture, and we decided to walk around for a little bit, and then I got to see the closing ceremonies, where I got to see a special man get a special grooming. Three, two, one! Bless your beard, man. Then after that, I went to the Cheesecake Factory, where I met up with more of my friends. And they got to meet my sister's soundtrack. 
That was it. BronyCon was over. But that wasn't the end of my vacation. There's more! I got to see the Lincoln Monument. I got to see the place where Martin Luther King Jr. stood as he gave his I Have a Dream speech. I got to see the World War II Memorial with the pictures and roses. And just to end my vacation to DC, I got to see the White House, home of the President of the United States of America. Yeah, it's pretty obvious I would do that. And that was my vacation to Baltimore, BronyCon, and Washington, D.C. It was awesome! And of course, I got my ill-gotten booty, that's what I call it, in the shirt, and some other stuff like a button, a lunchbox, a plushie, another shirt, trading cards, of all things, but this is This is undoubtedly my favorite thing I have ever gotten. Look, I just want to thank... I would like to thank Moonshadow Law for giving me this picture and for making me feel worthwhile as Fast Track. I would like to thank my sister Soundtrack for putting up with me and this whole brony thing for, for the entire weekend. Uh, hang in there, sis. I would like to thank the cosplayers at the Grand Galloping Gala for quite the show. I would like to thank Ashley H. I would like to thank Disney Fanatic. I would like to thank ANY, Looney Turtle, all those fans of mine who met with me, Skypaw, True Sailor Comet, Speedy Tempo, <coughs> Dr. Wolf, Toon Critic Y2K, Eliora, <coughs> Mr. Left Turn for allowing me to sleep with him. That came out wrong! Fespio and Mrs. Fespio and everyone else who I have met at the con. This was without a doubt the greatest time I've had in 2017. The greatest time I've had in a long, long, long time. I am most definitely going to BronyCon 2018. And since I'm already home, I might as well go to Pacific Pony Con. So, I can't believe I'm saying this. Oh, would you guys like to see Fast Track, the best mama jamma who ever stood in front of a camera at Pacific Pony Con 2018? No! Too bad! But until that day, thank you guys so much for making this time worthwhile. This was amazing. Just simply put, amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was my BronyCon 2017 recap. Till next time, I'm Fast Track. I'm the best mamma jamma who ever stood in front of a camera. And, of course, I will be 